What's up YouTube, just Gav here bringing guys a brand new video up onto the channel and in today's video we're going to be talking about Battlefield 2042 Season 7 Turning Point, my first initial Im impressions and opinion on the map, the new weapons, uh, the new, well really, the new map and the new weapons since I don't have the S-Straw yet, I, I haven't gotten the straw, I haven't gotten the straw, what do you want from me? What do you want from me? I'm like tier 34, I almost have it, I think it's tier 37 the S-Straw, but yeah, basically, I just got off a 10-hour stream. I'm actually recording this video right after it. Obviously, we have a Breakthrough 24-7 playlist for Haven and a Conquest 24-7 playlist for Heavy. Initially, I played Conquest just to get a feel for the entire map, get a feel for, uh, you know, the, the flow, the layout, power positions, etc., and etc. And you guys know that the update and the battle pass is staggered. So when the update comes out, you get the map and everything and the patch, and then the battle pass doesn't start progressing until about three or four hours later. And the battle pass was bugged today, but they got it figured out. They got it ironed out, and we were able to progress the battle pass and get the guns and stuff like that. So first things first, Haven. Let's talk conquest. The middle of the map. Okay, so this is a very this is a close quarters map for the most part, even though there's some rangy parts of it. And this map is really, really, really all about power positions, even more than some of the other maps in Battlefield 2042. The rooftops are very powerful. McKay dominates, especially on Conquest, especially on Breakthrough. Um, but Conquest specifically, and this is a problem I noticed pretty much right off the bat. Now, there's nothing you could do about player skill and a team being stacked more than the other, but it can quickly, and when I say quickly, I mean quickly, turn into an absolute spawn trap fest from the Russian or the US side. If you can blitz B and C flag and take control of the middle of the map, it's basically a GG's. I have yet to see a team lose their base or lose the two middle flags and uh well if a team gets their base flag b and c and then eventually they're going to get d they're going to push down the hill towards your spawn either way and it's pretty tough to come back from it due to the lack of light transport vehicles such as the pawn hawk now there is a little bird a tank and i believe a cab brawler or, or you know you can you can get a bolt a tank a little bird so there's not that many vehicles but there are a couple of vehicles that come into play and the vehicles are actually quite useful for getting rid of the rats nests that are the buildings because of the destru destructibility of haven especially in conquest because they can be anywhere anytime breakthrough is a little different because it's more you know sectored off and focused so you kind of get a general idea of where everybody's at but in conquest specifically just put shells in buildings there's going to be rats everywhere on top of buildings snipers irish aps would throw a whole squad in a, in a building you know head glitching windows and doing all that good stuff <clears throat> but to me and you guys know this if you've been watching the channel for any amount of time breakthrough is the real test it's the real game mode don't be mad at me argue with somebody else don't argue with me and on breakthrough it's three sectors so it's pretty short the first sector the offense i mean it's it, you should pretty much roll over them on offense it doesn't happen all the time we've been stopped on the first sector once in my 10 hour place sesh so maybe it does happen all the time except for that one time second sector is a little bit more defense defense has a better advantage because you got to fight uphill up into the buildings back down the hill down the hill no, down the hill but down you know the slope of the map down the right side or, uh, if you're attacking down the right side and then the third sector, again, defense has some cover. It has some, you know, uh, ability, but it's defense. You're, you're going to get ran over no matter what because you're limited on what you can really do. But I've played it over and over and over again, and I think it's it's actually pretty solid. But the, the big problem with Haven, Breakthrough Conquest, it doesn't matter. The only playable character is McKay. McKay, McKay, McKay. Because the amount of rooftops and windows and ladder and just it's just littered with it all over the map except down by the water where it's mostly flat you got some a little bit of elevation but not too too much but in the middle of the map but the 70 percent of the map is buildings rooftops and and windows so mckay 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 i don't think i played anybody else today on stream except mckay because the grapple hook go go hard you get a rooftop you get a, a, a good spot you and your squad can get on top of a building or in the top floor of a building and start raining down fire 
on the enemies. Um, but yeah, it's a roof, it's a rooftop camp fest, uh, rat infestation, <laughs> and it can be a little obnoxious sometimes. But overall, I do like Haven. I think if they add pawn hawks to conquest, at least two on each side, I think that alleviates some of the spawn trapping problems and spawn trapping woes that they're currently having. Haven also bodes uh, a unique feature, and that would be the auto CRAMs in both spawns to keep the attack or the little birds from um spawn trapping which every map should have auto serums it shouldn't be a manual thing like it is on uh reclaimed they should all have auto serums it should have been a thing from the beginning of the game um i don't know why it wasn't it wasn't bf4 bf3 and it wasn't in bad company too i'm not really sure but the auto serums aren't too op they're, they're they more try to shoo you away than try to laser you down obviously you get too close it's gonna kill you but I have yet to be killed by it in a little bird. I had a couple games where I flew. Some of that gameplay might be in the background right now. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how I'm going to chop it up. I don't know. But the CRAMs don't seem too OP. They don't seem too ridiculous. So that's good. I think it's a good thing. It should be more of a shoo shoo go away, get out of my spawn, than it is a brrrr, you die kind of situation. So yeah, but overall, I do enjoy Haven. I give it like a... Somebody asked me if what was, what was it a 1 out of 10. I... If they make some little adjustments and some 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 certain certain things to the to the map and to the into the vehicles and to the just little things here and there, I think it could be really really good. Obviously, the rat infestation is the rat infestation. They, well, what can you really do now? The big thing about uh, this update for me was the visual recoil. I haven't decided if I want to make a video on its own or if I want to do it in here. I'm just gonna do it in here. The visual recoil is obnoxious, it's in the way, it's unneeded, and there's no reason for it to be in the game. Now saying that, it's not as bad as what we all initially thought, it's not as bad as what I initially thought it was going to be, and it's still fucking annoying. Get it out, there's no reason for it to be there, you're doing this as a test for the next game, you're not slick, you're not slick, you're not slick, you can't pull the wool over my eyes, sorry, you're not slick, you're not. Get it out. We don't want it. It's unneeded, unnecessary. Yet, on the other hand, it doesn't really... Uh, I didn't try any of the DMRs or the LMGs, and apparently on the DMRs, it's pretty it's pretty nasty, and you know the BSVM is my baby. I refuse to touch it. I don't want to cry. I don't want to get upset. I don't want to get upset. But the visual recoil definitely isn't as uh, bad as I thought it was. Out to extreme ranges, obviously, it's going to be a little tougher when using an AR and other things, such as that. The SMG buff is nice. The SMGs feel viable. They feel snappy. They feel stronger. They feel more accurate. They feel more in line with the other weapons because, well, they, you know, LMGs and ARs got headshot uh, multiplier nerfs, and SMGs got spread changes and spread tightening and uh, yeah, headshot multiplier buffs. So they are actually more viable and more useful. Back to the PP29 meta am i right guys <laughs> now moving on the ak5c and the scz-3 i believe is what it's called the scorpion scorpion first couple of games i was like oh, i don't know it seems to be okay it seems to be and then i had like a 65 and 10 game it was going absolutely crazy it's very good once you get a grip once you get a sight i don't even have the drum mag unlocked for it yet and we were still absolutely beaming people it chews through ammo which sucks but it also chews through people, which is great. The AK-5C, slower fire rate than I thought. A little bit chunkier, beefier than I thought. Almost feels like a battle rifle more than it feels like an assault rifle. Like, like I said, slower rate of fire. The visual recoil is annoying on it. It's got decent accuracy. The spread doesn't seem too terrible. It's hit or miss. It's hit or miss. You'll have one game where you can't miss, and the other game where it literally you're just you're just painting circles around a dude perfectly outlining his body with it so it's very strange but i like the ak5c there's going to be dedicated videos for the ak5c and the sc dash or scz dash three those will be coming and obviously we don't have stadium the draugr which is the stealth bomber or the rf strife i believe it's called which is the lmg we won't be getting that until may so the full complete season review is it necessarily well we can't really do it because we don't have the other we don't have the other content yet unfortunately drip feed drip feed drip feed so those are kind of my initial thoughts impressions and just overall uh you know how i like it i may mean, just play 10 hours of it little adjustments here and there pawn hawk on conquest breakthrough i feel like ah, i don't know something 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 on breakthrough something 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 something's missing i don't know what it is 
I don't know if it's because it's so short or if it's because it's just like it's all hell's breaking. I don't know what it is, but breakthrough is not bad. I thought it was going to be worse than it was. The visual recoil is not as bad, but it's fucking annoying. It's annoying to look at. It's obnoxious to look at. And I don't like it. And I'm going to tell you I don't like it because I don't I want to be honest. If any dev or anybody's watching this, I want to be honest with you. OK, I don't know why you'd be watching at the 10 minute part, but I want to be honest. Get it out and don't put it in the next game either. But uh, overall, season seven, yeah, despite the problems they were having with the battle pass and the tracking and being able to use the guns and everything, like I said, I don't have the S-Raw yet, so I can't really talk about it. And I, it looks terrible, but I haven't really used it. So I don't really know. Am I missing anything? I don't think I am. Let's see. Haven, AK-5C, SCZ3, uh, Visual Recoil, SMG Buff, AR, LMG Nerf. Yeah, I think I hit everything. So yeah, overall... Uh, solid. It's it's nice to get something new. Obviously, once we get over the honeymoon phase, that's when we'll really, you know, in a couple of weeks, we'll really like, oh, is this map as good as it was? Or oh, maybe it's better than I initially thought it was. I don't know. But I hope you guys do enjoy the video. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends. And it's been Just Gav, guys. All links down in the description down below. Discord, Twitter, Twitch, all that stuff. We do multi-stream on YouTube and Twitch now. So if you guys like the viewing experience on YouTube, subscribe, hit the notification bell if you like it on Twitch. Follow over there. And uh, TikTok and all that stuff is down there, too. Who cares about that, though? Am I right? Like, nobody gives a flying fuck. Yeah, and so I appreciate you guys. I'll catch you guys next one. And uh, yeah. Yeah. Peace out. Ghost Scouts. <gasps> See ya. Bye, guys.